Captain's Log, Stat 800581.0. We've taken on a shipment of a new vaccine designed on Kai Kerani 2 to halt a plague ravaging the population on Severus in the nearby Omega Kerani system, Border World, seeking Federation assistance. The technology underlying this vaccine is new but promising. We're proceeding to Severus at best speed. On course, Captain, maintaining warp 8. Distance roughly 19 light years. At present velocity, we'll arrive in 143 standard hours. That's nearly a week. How many will die by then? Too many. This virus is 100% contagious and has a mortality rate exceeding 90%. That's more than the Black Plague on Earth. Correct. It's as bad as a untreated case of Synthococcus novae. But with the new vaccine, the mortality rate is reduced to less than 10%. It'll save billions. Mr. Hopper? I know what you're thinking, Captain, but we could burn out our warp coils if we try to run that distance at our highest velocity. Agreed. Better late than never. I'm surprised the Kai Carrier are willing to help at all. They uh, are much more advanced than the Severance in the biological sciences. But their colony was founded by Severan exiles. This research is fascinating. And that's a topic I'm sure we'll explore in detail some other time, Phil. For now, I'm sure they'll just be glad of the Karanian's assistance. I need to talk to Dr. Drake about something. I'll be right back. Hail from Severus, Captain. Chancellor Armin. It's certainly nice to bring good news for the change. Main viewer. Captain Gabriel, I'm told the Federation has a vaccine for the plague. Surely the great outcome will speed your journey of mercy. How long until you arrive? Approximately 140 standard hours, Chancellor. We carry the raw materials and instructions to synthesize enough to inoculate your entire population. Praise Alcon! Where did you find this miracle? Captain. A moment, Chancellor. Please excuse this breach of decorum. Close channel. What is it, Phil? You can't tell the Chancellor where the vaccine comes from. Well, why shouldn't they know where it comes from? It was created by one of their colonies. One would think they would be grateful, even for an exile's help. But they won't be. It's synthesized from Corinian biological material. They're antibodies. Significance quickly. The Kai Kerry were exiled from Severus over a century ago on religious grounds. The Severans considered them spiritually unclean, Sean. They'll die before they accept the Kai Kerry's help in any form, much less this. Captain's Log Supplemental. The Karanian's vaccine may not save the Severans after all. They would choose death if taking on Karanian antibodies is the price of life. And now, I've told Armin only that it comes from a nearby world. Here. Gentlemen, the situation is grave. We need an alternative. Well, the easiest one is to simply not tell them at all. Aren't the lives of all those people more important than an outmoded taboo? But how could we do that, Sean? They would rather die than accept anything from the Kaikari. The Prime Directive teaches that the rights of a sentient species to live in accordance to its own cultural evolution is sacred. Don't they have the right to know? Do we really need to cross that bridge yet, Captain? We still have 130 hours before we arrive at Severus. Agreed. Phil, 
Can life sciences synthesize an alternative, using the Corinian research as a starting point? It's their biological material that's the problem. Can we use something artificial? It's possible. But it seems like a lot just to accommodate prejudice. As I understand it, the prime directive is intended to prevent the interference of the normal, healthy development of other cultures. This is not a healthy development from a sociological point of view. Well, we're not here to judge. Nevertheless, make it so. Mr. Harper, engineering will assist as necessary. Contact Dr. Drake for assistance. Dismissed. If they can't come up with something, we've got a problem. Indeed we do. Your interpretation of the Prime Directive is reasonable, if we consider this to be a part of their normal development. Now, when they know, they'll reject the vaccine. Most likely. General Order Number One is our most basic principle. That's why it's the first of Starfleet's General Orders. We have to follow it. Even though billions of people may die, they have to know. But doesn't feel right. The suicide of an advanced population is manifestly an irrational act. It can't possibly represent normal development. But if you don't tell them, Sean, aren't you taking the role of this Alcon of theirs? Playing God? That's why I hesitate, Attic. I thought it was a sensor ghost, but I checked and there's no malfunction I could find. Hydrogen cloud reflection, maybe? Not in this area. I can't account for it. It appears and disappears intermittently. There's no pattern. No pattern. Not a natural phenomenon or a malfunction. That only leaves one possibility. A ship. One that can travel at high warp. But whose is it? Distance bearing, ma'am. Mark 7, 3.5. Main viewer, extreme magnification. There's our ghost. Identified. One Klingon D-12 class scout ship. Klingons. Shohui! Starfleet vessel sees us! We have lost the tactical advantage! I am aware of that, Kodai. Maintain this course. Mr. Calhoun, any change? Negative. They just moved into contact range. Pacing us, parallel course and speed. Yellow alert. Torpedo crews, stand ready. Communications, hail them. Yellow alert, alien frequencies are open. Tubes loaded and show green. Phasers on standby. I have identified the Federation battle cruiser, Johui, a Phobos class torpedo cruiser. Federation registry, NCC 2787. I know this ship. It is Demos, the human tongue for terror. We are more maneuverable. They are more heavily armed. A crew of 203. Their captain is a Terran female named Gabriel. Joby, they prepare for battle. It is a good day to die. Weapons officer, arm ourselves. Prepare to alter course! Go blood! Hishwach, Commander Kodai! Lieutenant Kauf, stand down! Shukri! It's a standard procedure for them. They will hail us. <laughs> Joey? Federation vessel signals. You see? Do not answer, Kinga. Maintain this velocity, Moha. No answer to our challenge, ma'am. What do you think they're after? I don't know. Mr. Tathan, plot contingency course out of this star group. If they move on us, I want room to maneuver. Course computed and on screen, Captain. Hail from Cerberus, Captain. The Chancellor. On screen. Chancellor. 
How is it, Pat? The situation is desperate. Many have died. More are sickening. Our economy is failing. Essential services cannot be maintained. How long until you arrive? If nothing changes, approximately 27 hours. One of your days. And if nothing changes? We're being shattered by a Klingon motion. If they do not interfere, we'll arrive in time. Then may Alcon light your way, Captain Gabriel. Our existence as a people depends on you. Mr. Harper? From here, we can hold warp nine until planet fall. It'll cut hours off of our transit. Helmsman, increase to warp factor nine. Aye, right, Captain. Klingon vessels increasing speed to match. Are they closing on us? Negative. Very well. Helm, maintain present course. Continue warp factor nine. The velocity increase will get us there in about 16 hours. But I don't have good news for what will happen when we get there. The alternative vaccine? The formulation is dependent on Corinian biological factors, and there are no equivalents among the humanoid species aboard Deimos. There is no way to synthesize an alternative that doesn't rely on those factors, and they are uncommon to Cerberus biology. The Kai Kari have evolved resistance to this kind of virus that the Severans don't have. It's this or nothing, Sean. If they refuse, their entire population will die. I just don't think this is a situation the Prime Directive was designed to cover. Isn't it though, Phil? Isn't this exactly the kind of situation the Prime Directive was designed to cover? Number one, you have the helm. Maintain present course. Not Captain. Graph Vector 7 achieved. We are cloaked. Muha! You are late for your physicals! Okay. Is their course the same? Yes, Joe Joe Why do we delay? This battle awaits us. We are Klingon. We do not wish to see the Terran woman's blood drain from our veins. Not yet, my brother. I do not understand you. We have fought for hundreds of battles, and still your affinity for these Earthers. What is the cause of your fascination for them? She has Gumawi Baba. Again. This Terran, Gabriel, is unusual. It is said that she did not wish to command one of their war cruisers. That she, pre she preferred to retire and teach others of her kind. Yet when called, she did her duty. She has Bala. Honor. When, my brother, have you known any of these to take the lives of their fellow humans in support of us? We know that they can fight, but are they worthy of our respect? I would know this also. Ha! You heard the transmission. The Severn sickened. And yet this Federation vessel comes from the Wa. The outcast with the cure. The Severns hide behind their legends. If they do of the Wa, they would die like veg. What will this teacher do? Will she act with honor again? I would know if this honor is true. And if it is false? 
then we know what to do. How are we doing? Holding warp nine, Chief. But we'll need to do a level two diagnostics after we finish the mission. If we finish. Jury's still out on that. Have you seen the boss? Right over there. She's been standing there for two hours. Hmm. You know, if you stand right here at high warp, you can almost feel the warp field. When I was an engineer, it was a quiet place to think. You're trying to decide what to tell the Chancellor. Yes. Mr. Drogo was right. On its face, the Prime Directive requires that we tell him everything. But Mr. Duffy is also right. It doesn't say that we have to stand idly by and watch as an advanced people commit suicide while our holds are full of a vaccine from their own colony that could save them. But do they have to be? Our holds, I mean. I'm not sure what I follow. Well, the Prime Directive says that the choice is theirs, but it doesn't say when they ought to be given that choice. You mean... transport the materials first, and then tell them? It would satisfy the concerns of both Mr. Duffy and Mr. Drogo. Yes, Mr. Harper. I think it would indeed. Entering transporter range. Klingon ship is cloaked, Captain. Current location, unknown. Very well. Lower the shields. Aye, Captain. Shokui! Their shields are down. We can strike, Shokui! Not yet. I am your first adjutant. I serve you, but I speak for my crew when I say that this is not our way. Must I challenge Station! We will strike when it is my will alone. Assume your post. Do you revere Umag, treachery, Kodai? I do not. Let's see if this Gabriel also does not. Yes, shall we? Coordinates received. Cargo transporters are energizing. Hail the planet, Mr. Waverly. Chancellor Armin, Captain. Good luck, Captain. Chancellor, we're completing transport to the designated coordinates. Your medical teams may take possession of the materials. El Khan be praised. His mercy is great, Captain. Indeed it is. But there is one thing you must know, Chancellor. The vaccine came from Kai Kevini, too. What? But they're outside Alcon's grace. Outcast. Unclean. Take it away at once. Surely there is some other alternative. The vaccine is dependent upon Kevini and biological factors. It can't be manufactured synthetically, not even with our level of medical and biosciences. But, but we would all partake of their sin if we used the devil's elixir. There is no other way, sir. You have the vaccine. Whether you use it or not is your choice. It will not interfere in your society's cultural development. And from what we have seen, it either will develop quickly in these next few hours, or it will collapse completely. I suggest you choose carefully. Close channel. They had to know. 
We followed the Prime Directive. We gave them the means to help themselves and the knowledge of the price they would have to pay to take advantage of it. What they do with it, it's up to them. Mr. Calhoun, raise the shields. Aye, Captain. Number one, take us out of orbit. Maintain yellow alert. See, Korai, it is as I told you. This human again shows Ba. She does not revere Umag. Kinga, contact the Federation ship. Yes, Joey. The Klingon vessel is hailing, Captain. Identified as IKS Ragged Blade, Captain Lakat is asking for you personally. Indeed. Put him through. Goes my way. Bala. I'm a teacher. I don't think I've earned that appellation, Captain Lacotte. To what do I owe this pleasure? When last we met, I told you your actions would be remembered. We are here because when a warrior goes to battle, they do not abandon their friends. Well, I've fought no battles today, Captain, and... Do you truly consider you and I to be friends? You once put aside bigotry and destroyed your own people for peace, even when Grey Wolf advised otherwise. You acted honorably. We remember. Today you went into the most important battle, the battle within. You've been monitoring our communications. We have. You had a choice, Captain. You could have chosen not to tell the Chancellor of the origins of your medicine. But the treachery involved would have made you worse than a Romulan. Do tell. In the past decade, great houses of the Klingon Empire battled over honor. Those that revered honor were in opposition to those that revered treachery. Many warriors died in the battle on both sides. Yet in the end, those that revered honor were victorious over those that revered treachery. Today, you faced a similar battle, one between your sense of honor and with what may prove to be a terrible lesson for the people of Severus, and with the lure of treachery, which would have been the easier way out, at least until they found a source, a cure. But the cost to your honor for such treachery would have been irreparable. I am pleased you chose to act with honor, Captain Gabriel, and I will remember this as well. Kapla. I'm grateful, Captain. Surprised, but grateful nonetheless. Kapla.